Hello and welcome to our newest Open Card 3 tutorial. This one will be a little bit different. We will give you an overview of the event system in the extensions menu. You will learn what events are in Open Card, how they work, and what makes them so useful. To view the events, go to the dashboard and click on extensions. The events section is at the bottom. Here are all the core events in your OpenCart tree installation. The event table lets you see all the registered events in the store and lets you enable and disable them. This is useful when debugging a problem and understanding which part of your store is malfunctioning. Now let's explain what events are. Events are methods that are called when an action takes place. In other words, you can specifically define the moment when you want your custom function to run in your OpenCart store. First, you have the event code. This is an identifier which extensions use to define a group of events. Then, you have the trigger. It signifies the exact place in your code when the event is fired. And finally, you have the action, which is the exact functionality that the event will execute. Now, what makes events so useful? Events help make the code of extensions much cleaner. This improves compatibility between different extensions and gives more stability for your OpenCard store. Events also make module updating and debugging much simpler. Events also remove the need for modifications, so there is no refreshing when you install a new extension in your store. It just works. With all of that said, we strongly recommend all OpenCard developers to start using the event system in the new OpenCard 3 and start switching from OC mode or VQ mod. For instance, this is how a module with OC mode looks like. And this is how a module with the new event system in place looks like. This sample tells OpenCart that we want to execute our function before it starts rendering the left column of the admin panel. This is the sample that actually adds the new menu item. So that's the essence of events. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. Like our video and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more OpenCard 3 tutorials.